What's up, everybody? It's Daikaiju Tony here, here at beautiful Cosmic Comics in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we get ship comic books now. Today, I would like to talk about one of the best movies I've seen of the year. <laughs> Spider-Man, No Way Home. No way. And, you know, I'm a big Spidey fan, so, yeah. I'll give you a synopsis, then I'll go into the more spoilery sections of it, but it will be layers of spoilers, because there's the spoilers that people kind of assumed already, and there's the, holy crap, I did not expect to see that happen on screen spoilers. So you have been warned. Yes. Matter of fact, there's going to be a spoiler in the title. Synopsis. Right after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home, Peter's identity gets revealed, and the public has a mixed perception of him. People hate him. People love him. Uh, Pretty but, common for Spider-Man. Yep. But this affects the people close to him in a negative light. For example, Ned and MJ can't, into, they can't get into MIT because of the events that happened and they were involved with them. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, Happy Hogan is being uh, charged with what happened, so so is Aunt May for you know child endangerment, according wow. to according to damage control. <laughs> so, like to fix everything, Peter goes to Doctor Strange to make to to, <laughs> to say a spell that would make everyone forget that he's Spider-Man, but he he just keeps adding on to the spell, like, oh, I, I want MJ to forget. I want Ned to forget. I want Happy and then MJ, uh, and Happy and Aunt May to forget as well. And Doctor Strange's like, stop it. You, you're messing up the spell. <laughs> so it's essentially... Was he doing that while he was trying to cast the spell? Yes. So oh. it's essentially Peter Peter's fault. Okay. And as Peter goes to... Um, I have not seen this, so... Yes. He doesn't care for spoilers. I don't care for spoilers. I'm going to nitpick. Okay, so Doctor Strange um, confronts Peter. He's like, wait, you want me to alter the mind? You wanted me to alter the minds of the universe, of everyone in the world, and you didn't even consider uh, talking to whoever represents MIT to like let you into the college? What? <laughs> and he's like, just get out. And Peter, um, Peter, after talking to Flash Thompson, because Flash Thompson, being a internet Jerk. Jerk in this version of Spider-Man. Flash Thompson, he kind of profited. <laughs> he profited off knowing that Peter was Spider-Man. He, wow. he even wrote a book about it. <laughs> He's like, oh, this book is, this is Flashpoint. This is experience with my best friend, Peter Parker. <laughs> of course. And like, F Flash Thompson is like, oh, yeah, the person who like, um, you're supposed to talk to to get into the college, like, um, she's, on, she's on the way to the airport. And once Peter gets there, you hear a thumping sound, and you hear the, you hear the iconic uh, Danny Elfman track, da na na na, <laughs> and Alpha Molina as Dr. Octopus appears. This is after the spell, right? Yep, after the spell, and Peter gets into gets into a fight with him with the Iron Spider suit. Suit gets torn up, of course. Um, yeah, because even traditionally the Iron Spider suit wasn't very strong. Yep, and now here. At this point, this is when I'm going to delve into the semi-spoilers. And, well, from what was shown in the trailers and teasers and TV spots. The nanite from the Iron Spire suit gets into Dr. Octopus's arm. And a, Peter's able to, like, wrap him up with his own tentacles. But, like, it kind of damages to his suit to the extent that he can't really use it anymore. And then Green Goblin comes and Dr. Strange is... They take them both wait, out, wait, wait. out of there. Green Goblin, like Willem Dafoe, Green Goblin. Yes. Nice. He just he throws a pumpkin bomb and he's like, "What is that?" <laughs> and then like right, right before Willem Dafoe is able to attack him, uh, Strange gets him out of there and Strange explains the gist to him. Um, because of the spell that uh, misfired, to, to say the least, people who know that Peter Parker was Spider Man is getting teleported into that universe into the mcu starting with <laughs> alfred molina doctor start, start, starting with alfred molina doctor octopus and william the foe green goblin so william the foe's green goblin there's this there's the scene where he's like talking to the helmet he's like no you don't control him anymore he just smashes the helmet with a center block <laughs> and yeah <laughs> well they knew fans weren't happy with the original helmet but. yes which kind of made me go no <laughs> when i saw it in theaters um okay uh, so Peter, now, did they did they de-age those guys? A little bit, from what I can tell. Yeah. Peter now has to go hunt down each villain and send them into the basement of the Sanctum, 
to send him back. One by one. So he goes after Electro for well no first he's like going Jamie Foxx Electro? Jamie Foxx Electro, yeah. Okay. And well he get he gets help from Sandman and Oh uh Thomas Hayden Church. Yeah, Thomas Hayden Church Sandman. Good Sandman. He he gets both of them while looking for Green Goblin. He's like, Where's this Green Goblin guy? Um turns out Green Goblin was a feast feast center run by Aunt May because Feast is a homeless oh, yeah. shelter it's that's like also in shelter, it's yeah. also in the video game. Uh Man, usually when I see fan service, I, I would go, eh. But here, it kind of feels necessary, and it doesn't feel too forced. Willem Dafoe says the line, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself, Peter. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> eventually, uh, the, while the villains are talking to each other, they discuss that, like how pretty much all of them except for Lizard die fighting Spider-Man. And Peter is like, if there's a chance I could save them, then I, mean, I should take it because Peter... And here's the thing that I got to appreciate. Peter does everything he can to do the right thing in comparison to the last movie where he made some dumbass moves. Pretty, um, pretty bad yeah, decisions. Doctor Strange is like, no, it's their fate. They got to die. And um, Doctor Strange has the spell in the box with a button in it to send them back. <laughs> um, and Peter's like, uh, I don't think so. And Peter and Strange get into a fight. Peter... Using the power of math beats Strange in the Mirror Universe by ha- webbing a bunch of boulders together and trapping Strange and taking the box and taking his teleporting ring. <laughs> and, Ugh. yeah. I don't know if I'd like that. So Peter offers to help each villain of, you know, curing them of what makes them them. So like, Villains? Yeah, like getting rid of Sandman's powers, making Lizard human again, getting rid of Electro's powers. But... It happens in the apartment that Peter's in because, for some reason, Happy has a atom. No, no, it's just, it's some machine that could like pretty much do do everything. Like it's from Stark Tech. It's I don't know how to explain it. Right. I forgot what it's called, but the like replicator or something. Re- something like, like that. A Star yeah. Star Trek replicator. Like to basically make devices and cures for each villain. But one of the foe being you know Green Goblin. <laughs> he, <laughs> He turns and he convinces a lot of the villains to go with him, except for Octavius, because they managed to fix the chip in his neck. Oh. And the fight scenes. Okay, so a critique of this movie is that most of the fight scenes, they're not as intense or batshit crazy as the Sam Raimi or the Mark Webb movies. But every fight with Willing to Foes Green Goblin, it's okay, I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. And considering that you're gonna see him smash through walls with Spider Man, and you can feel every punch that Tom Holland's doing. Tom Holland? Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Oh, Tom Holland. Um, so I thought you said Tom Hardy. Okay. And so I'm getting to the point where, major spoiler section, Aunt May dies. Peter. What? Yes. Good looking Aunt May dies? Yes. Oh, no. Aunt May tells them that great power comes with great responsibility. Oh, because, so, oh, because It seems like this version of Peter never really learned it from Uncle Ben when he died. <laughs> And if Uncle Ben was a thing in this universe. Yeah, um, yeah, they never did address that. But yeah, they? but yeah, Green Goblin, he just gets the glider, it smacks Aunt May, and yeah, it, she <laughs> ends up bleeding. So and, she dies the way Green Goblin died. Yeah, yeah. And it's a pretty dark and emotional moment because here's the thing that I don't like about a lot of modern MCU movies. When the, move, when the scene is about to get like super serious and grim, they just like hit it with a, a joke. Yeah, hit it with a joke. That did they do that in this? No. I am Thank so glad God. they did. And like, and one of my favorite scenes is when Peter, he's like just watching a giant screen and Mr. Jameson blaming everything on Spider Man. And then Peter's thinking, yeah, it's my fault. I tried helping to, I tried helping these guys, and now this is the result. <laughs> Everything's gone sideways. So Peter goes somewhere to mope. Uh, Ned and MJ are trying to figure out where Peter is. Ned could somehow use the ring because, like, oh, I have a little bit of magic inside of me. He hopes, like, I want to find where Peter Parker is. And, well, he takes him. To Andrew Garfield just comes out of the hole. Andrew <laughs> Garfield's Spider-Man. And eventually, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man comes out. Wow. And, okay, here was my big... This was one of my biggest fears with this movie. I thought they were going to be shoehorned in within the last 10 minutes to help Peter with the final fight. But, no. All three Spider-Man get the time to get to know each other and banter with each other. So many great mo- memorable oh, that's scenes. Cool. Especially when it comes to the web shooters. Like, Ned's like, here's your guys' web shooters. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and I liked Andrew Garfield. I just thought he got saddled in some pretty bad Spider-Man ver- version or movies. Yeah, and Toby's like, what's that? You, you, and it's like, that just came out of your hand. Yeah, you guys can't do that. 
a lot of good scenes between That's them, cool. and That's lots cool. of good throwbacks. And nice. when when Peter, when Tobey Maguire's Peter meets with Alfred Molina's Doctor Octopus, like, oh man, you could feel that they know each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and when, especially when they're basically curing all the villains, they because they're there to help them, not just beat the bad guy. Right. They're just there to do the right thing. Oh, nice. And but here's the thing. Right when they're about to, you know, send him back, all cured up, Willem Dafoe's Goblin comes, takes the box with the spell on it, jams a bomb inside of it, and all of a sudden the universe is breaking apart. And what? Yep. So he turns out to be bad after all. Yeah, no, it turns out to be worse. So like, oh, worse. So pretty much everything that Tom Holland Spider Man tried doing, it was pretty much for nothing. Wow. <laughs> Thanks to him. <laughs> Thanks to Norman. Yep. And well, that's Pe- pretty Norman Osborny. <laughs> and Peter. So pissed at him that Aunt May's dead. He's like, oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> wow. And pretty brutal fight between him and Osborne. Peter's about to stab him with his own glider, but Toby's like, no, don't do it. And well, I kind of saw this coming. Toby gets stabbed from behind, but no, he, he doesn't die. He's wow. like, I- I've been stabbed before. <laughs> no biggie. But Peter has to make the ultimate sacrifice. It's like, strange, just do the spell where everyone forgets who I am. And the thing I like about this is Peter has to live with the consequences. Hey, finally this yes. version, yeah. Yep, he lear- he actually learns that great power comes with great responsibility. <laughs> and even people he wouldn't think that would forget, like Happy Hogan loses his memory of Peter Everybody Parker. Forgets. Everybody forgets. Yep, and the movie ends with what I wanted from the MCU's version of Spider-Man from the beginning. Peter Parker, he's living in an apartment by himself. He's a college student. And in the end, it's, it's so beautiful. His own suit. He stitched his own suit together, and it's nice. one of the most beautiful things i've seen on screen nice. it's like an exact replica of the steve dicko and john romita uh, senior suit and yeah it's so finally we get spider-man tom holland spider-man like he's supposed to be yes instead of this it's weird iron boy jr of iron man yep sp- golden yeah. spoon yes yeah. Th- this is a soft reboot for the mcu's version of spider-man That's and cool. i am i am beyond stoked to see what comes next all right maybe i'll have to watch this yep Although the post credit scenes somewhat disappointed me. First one, basically Tom Hardy's Venom. He's trying to figure out what the hell is he doing in the MCU. Right. He gets teleported back, but he leaves a chunk of the symbiote behind. See, that makes sense. I know you told me about that scene I'm like, a few no. days ago. That actually makes sense. I mean, that we might get the Venom the way we're supposed to get him now. That Peter meets Eddie Brock first, and or something, or at least he. You gotta. I mean, at least or, Venom comes from somewhere else. I mean, how are you gonna do it without having Secret Wars? Yeah, I mean, the I'm, way it happened in Secret Wars was kind of silly. So yeah, but yeah, so obviously hinting at Black Suit Spider Man, and the second post credit scene was just a trailer for Multiverse yeah, of Madness. Yeah, yeah. But overall, I give this movie, despite its flaws, nine out of ten, and wow. it's honestly one of my top five MCU movies. Wow. And you know, what? probably my top. Was it better than Winter Soldier? Yes. No way. There, there Get are, out of here. No way. There are, there are moments that like made me semi tear up, mainly with Tom McGuire, but I was like, oh my Winter god. Soldier's amazing. Yeah, it's it's probably one of the best political espionage movies. Superhero espionage movies. Yeah. yeah. But man, No Way Home. It's like the Spider-Man movie that I wanted to see in a long time. Okay. All <laughs> Where right. Peter Parker, it's this guy trying to do the right thing, and bad things are happening to him no matter what he does. <laughs> So he needs to head down, do your job, and they feed you. <laughs> he needs to <laughs> he needs to stick to whatever he knows, right? Yep. All right, cool. So yeah, Spider Man Far From Home. Not a far from home, screw that movie. No, no way, way home. home. Which that's the spoiler is no matter what he does, he can't find his way back to the beginning. Now he has to live yep. with what happened. And, live with the consequences and, and, go on and with his life. Yep. That's good. Super sad maybe, ending. Maybe I should and, watch it after all. Yes. It's MCU Spider-Man as Spider-Man. All right, cool. Anything (laughs) else? Nope. Go see this movie while I still can.